Welcome makers. I've got the lights turned down in the shop because we are building this very cool floor lamp. This is a full size five foot tall floor lamp, all 3D printed, uses an LED strip, sound reactive, and trust me, the video is not doing this thing justice. It is amazing in person. So we're gonna be building one today. So let's get to work. Okay, so I'm really excited for this floor lamp, as you can tell. This thing is five foot tall. It is all vase mode prints. All of these are done with a 0.6 nozzle. The 0.4 nozzle was really only used for these individual rings, so that way they had a, a real nice fine detail. But there's a very limited number of parts, except for the lanterns themselves. There's a small top and a small bottom on this. And for the most part, you just need to get a piece of threaded rod that is whatever height you want your floor lamp, and then 3D print these, put them on the rod, and you're almost done. This can be assembled in probably less than a half hour. The most amount of time, obviously, for this project is going to be in these different lanterns. I used uh, Filicube Clear HT PLA. However, I had some success with other PLAs as well. The HT PLA, I really liked how crystal clear it was. So if you've not tried the Filicube Clear HT PLA, it is really a nice filament for this sort of work. But you could use PETG or anything else with it. Uh, all you have to do basically is once you've put all the lanterns on the rod, you're just going to slide the LED strip in here. There is a special vase mode channel that uh, allows you to just push through the LEDs in this. So it's really simple to put together. If you've always wanted to put together a 3D printed electronics project, this is probably the one you want to start with. It's really easy to do. And if you're not familiar with electronics, you can buy from Amazon strings with controllers on them that will fit in the enclosure as well. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to put this together. It's really a straightforward process. What I'm not gonna do in today's video is go through WLED and how to solder that to a board. Honestly, there are so many different videos out there about it already. I just felt like it would delay the amount of time it would take for me to do this project. Now, if you would like me to do a video, uh, on WLED and its setup, let me know down in the description. I'll put one together, but there are a ton of resources out there. So if you do want sound reactive WLED, it's really pretty simple. You gotta buy like two parts and the microcontroller and you're done. That's, that's all there is to it. Uh, very light amount of soldering. So let's get to putting this together and then we'll come back here and uh, I'll show you some of the cool uh, sound reactive features of this lamp. Start by putting the lantern base on and then install all of your lanterns. This is really just to test fit and make sure that we've got the height right on our rod. I used a six foot rod and the nuts just press fit right in there. Uh, put the electronics closure on and the base and then just mark where you need to cut the rod. Once you've cut the rod, the next step is really just a matter of reassembling everything. Put the electronics into the enclosure and then you're gonna feed the LEDs through the rod cover and then through the lantern base. And then you wanna make sure you get all the LEDs through and then you're gonna put the base on itself. You'll need to press fit another nut into this one and then we're gonna take this off later in the video. It's much easier to work with it without sand in the base and that's what the last thing that we'll do. So if things are a little tight, I used a rubber mallet here to just press fit in the screw, and, or I'm sorry, the nut, and then just twist it on to the threaded rod. Now we're gonna get a better position here and feed through our LEDs. You're gonna slide it just through the channel. There should be enough grip for standard LEDs, and then just slide down the lantern. Once you've got the lantern in place, you're gonna put on some of these little decorative covers. Now this hides the gap, but the ones that I used in the video were just a tad short. Uh, I've corrected that model, but I didn't want to reassemble the entire uh, lamp before I finished the video. So 
The ones you'll put together will work great and feel free to mix up the colors. Make this what you want. You can see here, putting the last couple on, uh, it's full size and gravity will really help you here. Make sure there's a nice tight fit to everything. You don't want to have a lot of slack here because uh, with all the weight, it that threaded rod won't hold uh, a lot of weight unless it's nice and tight. So once you're all done, pull the base off, take some plastic bags with some sand, throw those in there, and then just put the cover on, put that back onto the lamp, and you're all done. All right, so you can see I've got the sound reactive version on now, and this is pretty cool as I talk you get the uh, center grav bars that are in there. There are so many different uh, effects that WLED has for audio. It's really impressive. I really recommend you do the WLED and that electronics bay in the base is plenty big enough for uh, breadboard. So even if you did it from a breadboard perspective, you could easily put WLED in this lamp and use it without any soldering at all. So. Just a thought on how to put your lamp together. So some alternative uses for this lamp. If you, obviously this is a great uh, conversation piece for your home. It's really got a lot of light to it. It's impressive looking and I can't wait to put two around my TV, but there are some alternative uses here too. So you can build a smaller one. I have uh, some smaller lanterns already printed. They fit on the same rod, use the same LEDs but you could do garden pathway lighting with this, right? So you could have, let's say a large one and then small ones as you enter a garden. Uh, you could also do really cool things where maybe you're not having something vertical, but you change this horizontal. You could put it over anything you wanted. It really has a sci-fi look and it's completely customizable. If you don't want clear lanterns, you could go with a white. If you don't like the rings that are in here, you don't need them. They're completely optional. You can remove them. You can put different colored ones. You can put ones that have different artwork on it. And I would really love to see some creative lamps being built. I think this is an impressive project. Anyone that uh, has seen this in person so far really likes this project and I'm hoping you build one too. If you do build one, let me know down in the comments or uh, you know, send a link in the Discord. I would love to check this out and shout this out. So speaking of shout outs, I do want to shout out that I put a little contest for the floor lamp base. That's what it was. Uh, God of War was the closest one from our Discord who said it was a lantern. These are the lanterns. That is the base to the floor lamp. You're really close. But uh, members and patrons have been able to see this lamp for a couple weeks now. I've been posting progress of this. And remember, Membership of the channel is really just giving you a lot of the preview to this. I made the models available so that way people could start building things early. Uh, I made it really simple. I know I still have a few patrons, but uh, I really wanted to start the channel memberships because I think it was something that would really help everyone be able to uh, get some behind the scenes footage. And I've been posting a lot of different updates there, but that's it. That's the floor lamp and it's pretty easy to put together. If you need any help with this project, always stop into the Discord, check it out. It is a great place where there are a ton of different like-minded makers that are there helping you with your projects for anything from 3D printing, CNC, lasers. You know we cover it all here on this channel. So with all that said, I want to say thanks again for watching and we'll see you guys next time.